In this problem, we have a particle that is moving at some speed that's given to us, and then it slows at an acceleration that is also given to us. Part A of the problem asks us how long it takes for the muon to stop moving, in other words, for its velocity to reach zero. If we assume that the acceleration is constant, then this means that we'll get to use our kinematics equations for constant acceleration. So I'll make a note of them real quick. So I've got them boxed off to the side here. And also make a note of the things that the problem gives to us. So the problem gives us the muon's initial speed, uh, v naught. It gives us the muon's final speed. It says how long does it take for the muon to stop moving. So we know that its final speed is just zero, so that's given to us as well. And it also gives us the acceleration of the muon. Now we want to use these three variables to figure out how far it takes for the muon to stop. So we'll, use, we'll have to use one of the equations that has delta x in it, since we're looking for a change in position over this course of time. I think it makes the most sense to use this third equation right here, since it has all three of our given variables, and it also includes the displacement. It doesn't mention anything about time, which is good because the problem doesn't give us the information about time. The delta x term is what we want to find, so let's uh, rewrite this equation to solve for delta x. So first I'm going to subtract v naught squared from both sides of the equation, like this. And I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by 2a, so that the 2a's will cancel out, and delta x will be on its own. And this is the equation we end up with, that is equal to v squared minus v naught squared divided by 2a. Now we can put this into our calculator to solve it. Remember that we'll use 0 for v, since 0 is the final speed, uh, 5.00 times 10 to the 6th power meters per second for the initial speed, and then for the acceleration, the acceleration is given to us as 1.25 times 10 to the 14th power meters per second squared. But I'm going to make this negative just because we're talking about it slowing down. So that feels more intuitive in my head. This is what we'd use for A. And if you plug this into our calculator, we find a distance of 0 0.1 meters. I'm going to add a couple of zeros at the end just for proper significant figures. So this is how far the muon moves as it accelerates. Part B asks us to make a couple graphs based on this information, x versus t and v versus t. Now you will need to use a graphing calculator for this unless you want to, to estimate it. It's technically you could do either, but if you want uh, some precision here then a graphing calculator would be helpful. And to get these graphs, we would actually use the uh, we'd, we would want to use the other two equations of our three equations that we did not use, because the graph because the problem asks us to make two graphs of functions in terms of t, and the first two equations right here are the only ones that are in terms of t that have t as their independent variable. For graphing x versus t. We'll use the second equation, since the second equation is written as a function of t to give us x. And then for graphing v versus t, we'll use the first equation, since that's the equation that tells us velocity in terms of time. And what I've shown here is roughly what those graphs should look like. Notice that the second, the second graph, the one for v, kind of matches up with what the derivative of the one for x would be which makes sense because velocity is the time derivative of position. That's all for this problem. I hope this video helped you out. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below, and uh, please consider subscribing if you'd like to support me in making more of these videos. If you'd like to make a request for a future video to make, I've got a Discord server linked below, uh, so you can talk to me there if you want to have a request for a future topic or problem you'd like me to cover. That's all for now. Thanks for watching, and have a nice day.